All right, and also during this short rest, 30, 30 minutes of that short rest is going to be spent meditating for in order for you to recover your key. Yeah. And so what's in these buckets? Barrels, I mean. All right, let's see if there's anything in the barrels. Uh, do, 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 do. Wait, can we look around the rest of the room that they came out of? Uh, yeah. Sure, where do you wish to look around? In the room. And I would mm. like to so, equip the rope, cut one for the height of our shorter friend. <laughs> All right, the barrels contain salted pork, Beef and beef, flour, sugar, apples, and ale. I'll take Let's a bite of an from, apple we'll, and then throw it. <laughs> back with this. Oh, I'm sorry, what? I was just saying, just take a bite of an apple and then just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Taste of bandit. Alright, and I guess the other two are looking in the barracks. Uh, do, 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 do. In here is... All right, so there's some barrels in here as well, and they kind of they they have similar provisions, just food and stuff. And then there's some beds that they are apparently were you know resting in. All right. Are we so, using the red three for my bardic inspiration? Is that's that what fine. That for? That's why I assumed you were going to use it for. Anything inside of these beds? Nope, not really. Beds. Ooh. I'm going to now equip this good old cloak and then hand a cloak to each companion. Okay. Um, okay. After cutting one to be the, the height of uh, Galen. <laughs> All right. Well, you I, guys I, got some dirty red scarlet cloaks. I, I quietly sniff it while he's not looking. <laughs> it smells not washed. <laughs> I'd like to then dowd, like just stick my head in the water. See All if right. There's anything in there? So you stick your head in the water, and out of the most random thing you've done, <laughs> you you actually see a satchel in there. I would like to uh, fish it out. All right, you fish out the satchel. What's inside of it? All right, the satchel itself seems to be waterproof, and it, inside you find a red potion, a vial that has some sort of clear fluid in it, 50 gold pieces, and a clean set of ordinary travel clothing. Cool. Uh, I'm going to keep the satchel and the contents for now. I would like to do the taste test on the red potion, and I want to sniff the clear one. Okay. So you, you taste the red potion. It is a potion of healing. And then the clear potion doesn't really smell like anything. Um, what kind of skill would be needed to do a better it would just be, or would it your be... most the, the easiest one would be the taste test though it has risk tasting it okay potion of invisibility your tongue disappears <laughs> oh it's invisibility potion of invisibility it's clear fluid doesn't smell Fish like anything and, uh... and doesn't really taste like anything That'd be good for sneaking around. If we remember it. <laughs> so, all right, yeah. Um, you said it was a healing potion, a potion of invisibility, and how much? Uh, what else was in there? Clothes and what? Fifty gold, 50 gold and a and, or, and a clean set of ordinary travel clothes. And it's a waterproof satchel. Yeah, it was because it was hidden in the water. It was literally hidden in the water and it didn't seem to harm the contents. So cool. Cool, yeah. Um, all right. But you guys are all healed up, and, shall we? Yeah. Uh, I vote not myself to listen at the door. I'll do it. All right. Okay, is the door locked? Can I tell what the, if the door's locked or not before I uh, listen to the door? Uh, let's see. I guess the Asmar can do it. That's fine. <laughs> uh it's checking uh the door is unlocked also it does I bash my head against the door too <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Steve, let the, the finer folk <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty safe to assume that if there's anything on that other side of the door they probably know <laughs> I'm, gonna listen anyway. I'm 
I'm rolling. I'm going I'm to try to. So... <laughs> All right. I was, I was wondering if I'd get a crit fail too. <laughs> Um, also, does your Bard of Conspiration get restored on short rest? I don't remember. Long rest only. Okay. Good to know. I believe, I believe, believe that's what it said anyways. Let me double check. But Yeah, yeah by all means. Uh, Long rest. Okay, so yeah, you don't really hear much on the other end. Doors rather mean... sturdy, all that good stuff. Stone it's walls. Locked. It's locked or is it? Not locked. I won't. Well, well, gonna... I guess I'll open it. Okay, so you're going to open it. Um, it leads into a corridor. Um, if you guys want to go through, I'll have to kind of Fun. drag you I'm over. Gonna go I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna. Can I stealth through? You all want me to stealth in? I. I don't think, I think stealth's an option for this room. Going to stop Glim and say and nod my head. I all right. All right. So step back and let. <laughs> You the stumble monk. through the door um, in a daze after smashing your head and giving yourself a concussion. And I'll just put you over here. So the description of the room. Uh, thick dust covers the flagstones of this somber hallway. The walls are decorated with faux columns every 10 feet. And the double doors at the west end of, uh, of the hall are sheathed in copper plate, now green with age. A relief carving of a mournful angel graces the doors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do perception. See if I notice anything out of place. Okay. Uh, thirteen. Don't really see anything in particular that's out of place. Okay, I wave my friends into the room. All right. All right, drag me in. Right. Go ahead and go I'll in. Drag you, I will drag you guys in. Uh, like this is a very small hallway. It's a very ominous hallway. It's actually a pretty big hallway considering it's like ten feet wide, but. Feels small. Everybody's wearing the robes, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> so it's <not> like sure. <laughs> all right. Act put them on. We put them on, the, and then we take them off immediately. Is he turns? Time he turns and looks at us. We quickly put it on. As soon as he turns away, we rip it off again. He, sh he shouldn't have like shortened that one. He should have gave you the full length one. So it'd have been like you know, like a red ghost. <laughs> Just walking around. Tiny little red okay. ghost. Okay. So, uh, Kyrie, with me, let's check the door. Okay. Stop. <laughs> All right. I would have checked the hallway. <laughs> that would have been a good idea. I mean, yeah, it's a you, long, ominous hallway. It's you, great for a you, kill you, box. You were, you were close on the check, but you didn't quite get it. Um. All right, so... do. do uh, okay, so pretty much once you stepped about here, uh, the uh, the floor opens into a pit trap. Go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Come on, monk powers. Come on, I was going to say, come on, crit fail. <laughs> All right, so you're like, let's check out that wah, and then you fall and catch the edge of this 20-foot deep pit that has a d dirt floor at the bottom. Oh, only dirt? Oh, that's chill. Well, 20 feet is about 2d6 points of damage if you take if you fall down it. <laughs> All my damage is not good. Gonna uh, hoist myself up back to my companions and then take a stern look at the rest of the ha hallway. Alright, so a you can kind of skirt along the edges. I mean, this is a pretty big wide pit, but you can skirt along the edges, but it is pretty narrow. I mean, well, I mean, I guess we can make a thing way along it. Slowly, one by one. I'm going to stand to overwatch as they make their way across with an arrow, just in case somebody comes through the door. <laughs> Alright, so people that are skirting around the edge, uh, you guys can make a acrobatics check. You guys kind of, uh, maybe, you kind of skip, your heart skip a couple of beats as you do the fancy little movie thing where you wave your arms in circles as you lean a little too far forward, but you gradually make yourselves, uh, make your ways across. across. I rolled really shit there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, you both did. (laughs) (laughs) Yay for your high decks and the fact you're proficient in it. (laughs) it I'm going to stretch out my hand uh, uh, for Kyrie in motion to come over. Stretching both my hand and tail out. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, go ahead and make it acrobatics if you are going across. Well, I'll have to move forward. There's nowhere for me to stand on the other side. (laughs) (laughs) Casually so, backflip across. So, so, so Kyrie's like, I need room, guys. And so you guys turn and walk away, and then you hear light footsteps of her landing as she like somersaults across. Across. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> All right. So, so these are yeah, these are um, yeah, it's double doors, copper plate. Uh, the copper is green with age. Any kind of sketchy looking notifications on this door? And uh, the relief the carving on it is a mournful. Angel. Um, any, weird no vibes? any weird Any any weird what? Vibes from the store. Like um, I casually bump into the lizard man and head him into the door. <laughs> 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 All right. So you're op- who's opening the door? Oh, I I just want Glim to Glim, to hel- Glim doesn't there. knock the lizard man in. He just. Didn't help with that. He just kind of op- starts to open the door so the lizard man can go in. All right. <laughs> All right. So real quick, just a description before you guys die. Uh, I mean, uh, so three large stone sarcophagi stand uh, within this dusty crypt, and propped up against each sarcophagi, uh, sarcophagus is a human skeleton clad in bits of rusty metal or rusty mail. False columns along the walls are carved in the image of spreading oak trees. The do- double doors in the southeast corner are sheathed in tarnished copper plate. Uh, obviously, the, skele- the dead bodies animate, and we get to have some more fun things called initiative. Man, and you know be who would be really useful right now? Cleric. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that cleric was the only reason you guys didn't die in that one encounter. <laughs> Egg. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we are we are on top of it today. I have yes. advantage on initiative, and I rolled five twice. I rolled three. I like to think you guys are literally rookie right. mer- mercenaries, and this is your first adventure. <laughs> I mean, it basically, is. All right. Um, Wasting yeah. all our good rolls, showing off, jumping over pit traps. <laughs> all right. Well, conveniently enough, I tied somebody. Uh, what's your dex, uh, Kyrie? Seventeen. All right. Plus- you are you you are higher than me. Good Damn for- straight, don't you forget it. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Suddenly I'm dead. <laughs> Descending. And At I'll least I'm detail. only going, I'm the one going last, and it's not, you know, skeletons and then everyone else. Alright, so it's yeah, just... these skeletons have, um, their armors, they have armor scraps and, uh, short swords and short bows. Cool. Um. You go first. Yeah, rookie. Rookie adventurers smashing their faces in the doors. Um, I mean, to be fair, when I ran the freaking, what was it, uh, uh, freaking Fallen Citadel, or Sunless Citadel, literally they embraced the, the art of kicking down every door and being noisy. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so if I moved one forward, would I provoke an attack? So the, the way provoking works in 5th edition is... You, only when you leave the attack range of somebody. Okay, got it. So I can um, dance in circles uh, around them. Correct. You can technically, da- well, you can dance in half circles, but you, if you do a full circle around that guy, you'll be leaving the, the ranges of these two guys. Unless you waited another turn and use disengage action, and then yes, you could literally just... It, it also means that, like, reach weapons, like, they have a wider range, but at the same time, it also gives you more wiggle room to circle and move ar- and fluid around them. Cool. I'm gonna keep myself here do a good old two-handed smack for the man in front of me all right and then go on the defense again all right sounds good all right well um you kind of trip over your own uh attack stick and you think it's turning against you um but (laughs) but (laughs) but you didn't you didn't uh kind of uh roll with it and start kind of flowing through your various defensive stances. All right, goes to Kyrie. I just imagine doing like the, the person like, oh yeah, I know karate I mean- and just starts going through <laughs> generic. I, I meant to do that. 
I am going to shoot the one standing next to him that I can see. All right, sounds good. I'm going to take a step forward, though, so I can see the rest of the room. <laughs> All right. All right, you do hit for a whopping four damage. Kind of breaks a few ribs as it goes through him, and uh, he kind of staggers a little bit, but immediately rights himself. We'll probably close and barricade the door. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> to be sure yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just give me some flashbacks. That'll be great. <laughs> All right. So skeletons move up. Um, they are focusing on the weird stumbling lizard man. And they're going to attack with their short swords. So one, three, two, three. Take four. Damn. But at least it's half as many attacks as you've been taking recently. <laughs> All right, Glenn. See, we're already coming out ahead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is my, it's my turn. Yes. <laughs> Just roll there and fire out a shot at the one. That, there's always been one damage, right? Uh, yeah, the, 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 there's one that's missing, a, bu uh, a bunch of ribs. Alright, I'll try to hit the other ribs. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you shot at the exact same place, and uh, it didn't do any damage. Alright. Alright, Glim, your dodge is worn off. Uh, no, I didn't dodge, you mean the Oh, uh, sorry, Elorian. Yo. Yo. All you adventures look the same. <laughs> I can't look. The... <laughs> look, I, it's those red cloaks. They all look the same. <laughs> uh yeah. I'm gonna follow up with the same. Okay. Same thing this time. Um, this time I'm going to get a little risky, and. I'm going to try to take a bone and crush it with my uh, good old hungry jaws. Okay. Oh, those come back on short rest, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, recharge is short or long. Okay, cool. So go ahead and make your first attack. Okay, so you hit this guy. Going. For cool. You you smash him in his skull, and it kind of caves in. Um, looks like hitting it with a big heavy stick seems to do quite a bit of damage to it. Still standing so, back. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try to bite it. Alright, go ahead and make your bite attack. It misses. Right. I have not been able to bite anything. <laughs> your bite foo is lacking. Okay, uh, Kyrie. That, shooting at the same one again, by the way. That is completely fine, and you hit for a whopping four damage as you take out its kneecap, and it collapses. All right, do you wish to do any movement or bonus actions? No, I'm going to chill back here with my bow and keep shooting. <laughs> All right, so, so skeletons. Skeletons will continue attacking. Now you're not dodging, not that it made a difference last time. So one, two, take six. Yeah. So this is stray hits, man. <laughs> All right, Glim. All right, so uh, is our monk injured again? He's somewhat injured, but there's only two skeletons left. I'll <laughs> kind of sneak over there. Not really sneaking, but and then let loose another arrow. All right, which one, left or right? Left. Okay. One misses. Mm, uh, I can't. I can't use inspiration that retroactively, can I? No. <laughs> But now you, at least you remember that you have it. <laughs> I was thinking about using it. I'm like, ah, no, one more, one more. <laughs> now, what does the inspiration do in this game? So the way the inspiration works is you spend it, and you have to declare it ahead of time. And when you uh, spend it, it will give you advantage, uh, or it will negate disadvantage on your next roll. Gotcha. So it's not uh, it's not as great as a hero point, but you definitely I the way I. The way it's supposed to be awarded, it's supposed to be awarded for following your fancy little art roleplay traits that you pick or whatever, the flaws or whatever the nonsense is. But no one ever does that, and so I do it just based off like quest progression and things like that. Unless you do something that's really cool RP-wise, I might just give it to you anyway. But yeah, as long as you complete quests, you'll get inspiration, so you can only have one inspiration at a time. 
Okay, so basically use it before the quest is over? That's generally the idea, but uh, no one listens. <laughs> uh, Lorian. Okay. Inspiration is the elixir from Final Fantasy that you ne that you collect a bunch of and never use. No, you use like one or two at the very beginning of the game, and then after that, they're not needed. <laughs> you might, I don't. <laughs> All right, what do you wish to do, Alorian? Uh, what action would it be to drink a potion? It'll be just a regular standard action. But I probably I. To be honest, I wouldn't waste consumables while you have party members still around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, just curious. No problem. It's a standard action. It doesn't provoke or anything like that. It's just like you drink a potion. It's essentially the action's just called use item. I think it's what it's called. Um. So everything just disappeared for me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to log out or close the game and try and reopen it. Okay. Go ahead. Just yeah, reload it. So. Question two, um, on my Fury of Blows, would I be able to use Inspiration on both attacks then? No, it, it's only on the next roll you do. Okay, I got you. No problem. All right, uh, I'm going to try to smack the one to the left with a okay. good old two-handed two thwap. Okay, your two-handed thwap smashes it into dust. Hell yeah. A tack stick is doing his job. Well, um, that and I'm these things are weak against blunt. <laughs> yes. Um, He's doing his job. I'm going to follow up with a good old key point. Okay. And a fury of blows. All right, two unarmed strikes. Shit out of the one front. Okay. I'm going to try to crush some bone with my face. Okay. Um, all right. This is piercing damage, so it's just going to do regular, but you do hit with one of them. So you bite out uh, like his tibia and his femur and some other bones you probably don't know exist. Cool. And uh, it's it's right now in your mouth, and it tastes old. Yeah, should have punched it. But all right. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, go, Kyrie. I'm going to shoot it again. Yeah, you are. You hit it, and you take out some more of its ribs. It's barely holding together. So the skeleton's going to make its last desperation attack for four damage. Fuck this guy. <laughs> this one guy. <laughs> In fact, this is that, this skeleton, that one skeleton's the one that's been doing all the hits. Yeah, I should have definitely thwapped that one. <laughs> that, yeah, that's that's how RNG works. All right, Glim. Glim once again over the corpses of his enemies <laughs> to go and attack them and close come with the dagger. All right, go for it. True ranger. Miss no, like a true ranger. <laughs> like a true ranger using a dagger. What a surprise! All right, go Alorian. Alorian has made a beautiful discovery that these things don't like being flapped. Yep. Um, so he's going to flap it. All right, you flap it and it, you demolish it since it had one hit point left. <laughs> you went out to completely useless that fight. <laughs> I'm going to suggest we move the sarcophagus to block these doors to. Take a break. Um, I'm pretty sure if you start moving Sargophagi around, you're going to be making a lot more noise. Does the door have a lock on it? We just lock the door. <laughs> Not really. Head back to the room. <laughs> <laughs> back to the barracks, just stack a whole bunch of barrels in front of the door. <laughs> hey, we could go back and have... I mean, I have a healing spell still. Yeah, we still have some potions, we have some healing spells, we have, hit I still dice. have all of my spells, we have some hit dice left, I mean, if we need yeah. to, we can take another short rest, I can use my uh, Song of Rest again, you can get another 1d6 if you're worried about health. I would like, yeah, that would be good, also, I did want to meditate my key back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, alright, yeah. so we want, to, we want to find a better place, though. Alright, where do you guys wish to head back to? 
Well, I mean, if we go back, we're going to have to roll over the acrobatics of the hole yeah. again. So, you can, I mean, you can rest, I guess, here if you really want to and close the doors. No, I'd rather rest in the larger room because if they come up and they start stacking on the doors on us, we're kind of pinned between the uh, pit, and, uh, pit and us. Your choice. All right. Well, um, if, if you guys head back across it, you will have to do the acrobatics checks. Let's stay here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just waiting. All right, guys, we'll just go back to the. Oh, and then you all just fall in the pits. <laughs> all right, so you're gonna rest in anyway. Yeah, so you're gonna rest in this room. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to this corner though. Okay, so you guys are gonna rest for about an hour. I mean, I haven't taken any damage yet, still. So. <laughs> um, Hayden, go ahead and roll your one d six additional, so you recover eleven. All right. No. Hey, any... can I? What's up? Do your spells? Rejuice after long or short rests. Depends on your class. Both of ours yeah. are. It's everything but warlocks are yeah. longer. Warlocks are the only ones that get it back from short okay. rest. Never mind. Um, some so classes get classes. abilities that allow them to like regain a spell slot, just like a specific one with um an ability. But you guys don't really have those abilities around. Would I be able to after my? Kind of meditation. Are you gonna make some? You're gonna make some bone dirt. stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude, I want to make some darts. All right, go for it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, what it's... This weapon to the ha- these are uh, these skeletons have. Oh, uh, the skeletons have um, short swords, but and uh, short bows. Arrows? Do they have arrows? Let me look. Can I make um, arrows? They each have ten arrows each, Never so mind. thirty arrows in total. Do you want to split the arrows? I'll take up five because I'm already at twenty five, so I mean much more than but that. I'm at twenty three right now, so I need I was, to I'm just gonna I'll just stock up. back up to thirty because right. that's usually plenty for most encounters and then we're usually Yeah, I'm just out. trying to make sure I don't get too low. Alright. Good. Yep. So you can um as part of your cutting artisan, um you can you can pick one of these bodies that are big enough and you can convert you can get one D four darts back back. We're looting arrows he's carving out of the skeleton. <laughs> he is he is gnawing on some bones and turning them into darts. Hey, I have a dagger. Thank you. Yes, but you gnaw on it for the intimidation factor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, but one, one of these things is cooler. So I'm going to actually move this body out of sight just to represent that you expended that body. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you get some <laughs> bone darts. Now bodies are expendable items. <laughs> <laughs> they are, technically, for him. <laughs> Them. You know, he could. Um, he could you have done that for the bandits we killed earlier, the cunning artists? Yes, but that's far grosser. <laughs> <laughs> Even though no one in this group is human. Yeah, I'm s- I mean, we're still like mostly civil. Yeah, you guys are still good alignment somehow. <laughs> and try to take a peek inside of one of the sarcophagi. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a room. Um, amid the bones, and each sarcophagi is a. Platinum signet ring. What? We each get platinum rings? No, there's just one platinum ring. Fuck. Is there anything special it's about still... it? It's... Um, not from looking at it. It's platinum, though. Platinum is probably yeah. worth a bunch. I-, I put it on just to see what happens. Never mind. All right. Um, nothing seems to happen, and usually it takes an hour of meditation to even figure out anything about a item if it was magical. Okay. I'm going to throw it back into the loot pile of stuff we're collecting. Alright. Into the sack. Okay. So, uh, where do you wish go- where do you guys wish to go next? Was there anything in any other? No, account? like, that signet ring was the only thing you found. Like, all of them have bones in them, but only one of them had a signet ring. Okay, cool. And that was just through sifting through the bones. Left or right? Uh, I like right. Right sounds fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. So who wants to? I guess want someone to listen up there first. Even though, again, we just like made a bunch of noise in this room. Ready to go. And you guys are really good at listening. There, my good. I'll, I'll, I'll take the chance this time. Okay. Okay. Uh, you hear whimpering. 
Maybe some sobbing. Okay. I hold my, I tell them to stop for a second, then I kind of hop back from the door. And I whisper, I'm whispering now to uh, Kyrie that I heard some sobbing, possibly sobbing. Okay, uh, is the door, I check the door to see if it's locked. It is unlocked. And of course I fail my stealth. <laughs> this is the one time I can't pass my stealth roll. I open the door. All right, give me one second. 